Hi guys, thank you for joining me today. My name is Megan and today I have my November Owl Crate unboxing for you. So for those of you who don't know, Owl Crate is a young adult book subscription box. So every month they pick a book and they base a theme around it. And the theme for November is Castles, Courts, and Kingdoms. And I'm super excited to see what's in this box. So well, let's get started. Okay. Ooh, okay. So, ooh. So the first thing in here is the art card for this month. So on the back of it, it will tell you everything that's in the box. There are spoilers on it, so I'm not going to read those quite yet. Um, but the art is just beautiful. So that will definitely make its way over to my art wall over here somewhere. So the first thing, like always, in the Owl Crate box is the crinkly paper, which I know a bunch of people don't like, but I do. So I don't like making messes, so who doesn't like making a mess once in a while? Okay, cool. Ooh. <gasps> Guys, oh my god. So the first thing in here is this beanie. Oh my god. Y'all, it's a Harry Potter beanie. Oh my god, it says Expecto Patronum and it's got the little lightning bolts all around it. Oh my god, it's so cute. Okay, so the next thing is I don't know this is cool it's another little box and it looks like it's from fizzy fairy apothecary oh and more crinkly paper more crinkly paper so this looks like it is an elven bread soap from fizzy fairy apothecary right, I gotta take the beauty off it's a little too hot for that oh my god this smells amazing so it smells like mint, garden cucumber, clementine, cylamon blossoms, lily, and cactus. And this smells freaking amazing. So the next item in this box is the Alcrete exclusive pen. So this pen has the girl on the horse here from the art card. And it's really gorgeous. And next up is a lip balm from Geek Fire Labs and it's titled Winter is Here and I believe this is blackberry mint. Ooh, you have no idea blackberries are like my favorite fruit and then I'm gonna try this out. Ooh, that smells good. <laughs> that smells really good and it feels good. And next up is this really cool, ooh, okay cool. So this is, this is a wooden brooch from Juniper and Ivy Designs, and so this is a Corporal Lucky Heart Render Badge from the Second Army, and if y'all are familiar with that, it comes from the Grishaverse as well as Six of Crows, and this is gorgeous. Oh, and it's magnetic! Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's cool. Keep that right there for the rest of the video. And then there is a quote from one of the books on the back that says, when people say impossible, they usually mean improbable. So that's kind of cool. Guys, this is like freaking awesome. Ooh. Okay, cool. I was looking for a new journal. So this is a cool little journal and it says, don't let the hard days win. I'm not sure what that's from, but the artwork on it is gorgeous. So this is a quote from A Court of Mist and Fury, which I am not familiar with. Um, it's from one of the Sarah J Mass book series that I'm not interested in, but the artwork is beautiful and the quote is really pretty. So this is from Stella's Bookish Art, and the artwork is just gorgeous. And I was actually looking for a new journal, so this is pretty awesome. Ooh, okay, and... Next up is the book for this month, which is the Glass Spare. I think I've seen this around. So the book for this month is the Glass Spare, and I've seen this book around on Facebook, I think, and maybe on Goodreads. Um, I've not heard too much about it though. Uh, oh, the pages are like this kind of cool tattered look to them, they're all different sizes, so that's kind of cool. And this is an exclusive Owl Creek cover. So it comes with this cool letter from the author, so there's 
artwork on the back as well as on the front. So it also comes with this cool set of temporary tattoos as well as a signed book plate. So it looks like this book is about Wilmina Hildy. Heidel? Wilhelmina Heidelay? I don't know. She is the fourth child and um, the only daughter of, of the king of the wealthiest nation in their land. And she's kind of grown up in the shadows, kind of hidden away from everybody else. And her father plans to use her as a spy to help build his kingdom. And one night it seems that on the brink of war, Wilhelmina discovers this power that she can turn people into gemstones just by touching them. I think that's kind of cool. So this seems like it's going to be a really good book, guys. And it looks like she meets an evil or a cursed prince who has his own ideas about her powers. So it looks like Will's power or Wilhelmina's powers cause this tragedy and she doesn't like them and you know that kind of fun stuff. So with her world on the brink of war, it looks like Wilhelmina is going to have to learn how to use her powers and also kind of figure out how to deal with this cursed prince who has ideas about her own, about how to use her powers and how to help her family. So this looks like it's going to be pretty interesting and I can't wait to read this. And the last couple of items in the box are the Owl Crate newsletter. So They've been including this in the last couple of boxes and I think it's really cool. So they have an interview with the author as well as a couple of games and interviews with a couple of the vendors that they feature in the box as well as the photo challenge for this month and the theme for next month. The very last item in November's box is the theme card for next month. So the theme for December is Seize the Day and it looks like... Oh, they're going to be working with Bookworm Boutique next month. So that's cool. And the artwork is super cute. So I do know that next month's book is going to be a contemporary novel, so I'm kind of on the fence about that, but I am really looking forward to get the box next month because I think there's going to be some really interesting things in it. All right, so that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you for joining me for my Owl Crate unboxing. And if you guys are interested in Owl Crate, I will leave a link down below to their website so you can check them out. I don't get anything from the link, by the way. I'm just linking to the website because I love these guys and they are just amazing. I think my favorite item that I got from this month's Owl Crate would have to either be the hat or this awesome pin because I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to be wearing this a lot. Hey guys, Future Megan here. I totally spaced on telling you guys to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, you can also hit the notification button to get notifications of when I post a new video. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, I will leave a couple of links down below. And if anybody's interested in this bookshelf, this is my bookshelf at home. Um, it's pretty full at the moment. Um, so that's all I got for you guys today. Bye!